Yeah. yeah. Let me ask AI. In 10 years, how is life going to be different because of AI for, for just a, a normal person? Well, 10 years is a long time. In 10 years, probably AI could do anything better than a human can, cognitively. Probably almost, I think ten, in, in 10 years, based on the current rate of improvement, AI will be smarter than the smartest human. Pro yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there will also be a massive number of robots. So humanoid robots. By the way, I got to ask, how come your robots look so much like the creepy robots for my robot? Was, was that intentional or just... Uh... Well, I was hoping he was going to say, yeah, just to mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant to look like a, any, any prior robot. Uh, we'll, and we'll iterate the design. Um, you'll, and you'll, you'll be able to have a lot of the robot parts are cosmetic. You'll be able to switch out the kind of snap on cosmetic parts of the robot, make it look like, like something else if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, so there'll be ultimately billions of humanoid robots. Uh, all cars will be self-driving. Uh, in 10 years? Uh, in 10 years, probably 90% of miles driven will be uh, autonomous. Huh. Wow. That fast? Yeah. In five years, probably 50% of all miles will, driven will be autonomous. Now, if AI will be smarter than any person, how many jobs go away because of that? And what do people do if you've got millions of people that are losing their jobs like that? A lot of people are understandably freaked out about that. Well, I, I, goods, goods and services will become as, as close to free. So it's not as though people will be wanting in terms of goods and services. Um, so why is that? What, why are goods and services free in an AI world or close to free? Well, you have, I don't know, call it tens of billions of robots uh, that, that they will they will make you anything or provide any service you want um, for basically next to nothing. Um, it's, it's not that people will be uh, will have a lower standard of living. They'll have actually a much higher standard of living. The, the challenge will be uh, fulfillment. How do you derive fulfillment and meaning in life? Is Skynet real like, like like you get the apocalyptic visions of ai how real is the prospect of of killer robots annihilating humanity 20 percent likely maybe 10 wow. percent. on what time frame five to ten years so soon like you 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 see a world where that's possible yeah but i mean you could look at it like the, the glass is 80 90 percent full meaning like 80% likely will have extreme prosperity for all. Now, I guess my view, we're in a race to, to win AI. We're in a race with China. And my view is if they're going to be killer robots, I'd rather they be American killer robots than Chinese. How likely are we winning right now? Is America winning right now? And how likely is America to win the race for AI vis-a-vis -vis China or anyone else? For the next few years, I think America is likely to win. Uh, then it will be a function of who controls the AI chip uh, fabrication. The factories that make the AI chips, who controls them? If they are controlled, if more of them are controlled by China, then China will win. More of the factories that are making the AI chips. You, you think that will determine it? Yes. And how are we doing versus China on that front? Well, right now, uh, almost all the advanced AI chip uh, factories, they call them fabs, um, are in Taiwan. And what if China invades Taiwan? 69 miles away from Yeah, if, uh, what, what happens if China, <laughs> yeah. if China invades Taiwan, what happens to the world? Well, if they were to invade in the near term, uh, the world would be cut off from uh, advanced AI chips. And One, currently 100% of advanced AI chips are made in Taiwan. How fast can we put that online in America and how important is that for national security? I think it's essential for national security uh, and we're not doing enough. You're 